public speaking is communicating. So it really doesn't matter if I'm communicating with one person, mm -hmm. like here, or at a networking meeting, or even at a party. Mm -hmm. Or I'm speaking to a stage of 50 people or 500. The idea is that you are trying to communicate something that you are passionate about. Mm -hmm. Especially if someone is uh, an entrepreneur or in a business, such an opportunity to promote your business, to share your message. Because we live in an age where we've gotten very accustomed to the web, mm -hmm. to email, to marketing online, and it has its place. I mean, there's right. no denying, we can't go back. But imagine the difference of meeting somebody in person right. and going, wow, the vibe I get from you is so mm -hmm. different than what I pick up on the web. Right. The way that you light up um, the way I trust what you're talking about. Right. The way there's no place to hide. Right. Right? It's just you and your message and what you want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Give me 10 minutes up on the stage to mm -hmm. talk about public speaking, to talk about living your purpose, to talk about the joy that somebody feels when finally, finally they can let that out. Yeah. I can, I can say, you know, when I was working in a corporate job, it was... You know, I needed I don't know how many cups of coffee to get going in the day. I would come in, I'd sit at my desk, I was working at my computer, it was mm -hmm. contracts, it was data entry, it was, it was literally mind numbing. But now it's, it's, uh, you know, it's like it's on my mind all the time and in fact sometimes I can't shut it off and my poor husband, you know, for, mm -hmm. like, oh honey, I've got this great idea. Um, but it just feels, yeah, it feels like I'm alive, it feels like I'm excited, I feel, more courageous. I yeah. take chances that, you know, I didn't. I didn't have the courage to take before. Right. I had a wonderful coach. You know, that's the other thing is how do we, how do we support each other? How do we, um, how do we find that person that sees? Um, I love this this uh, quote that sees us with believing eyes. That mm. sees in us what we might not be able to see for ourselves yet. And that's right. actually what I love doing when I'm, when I'm coaching is, um, you know, people get up on stage and they're, they're terrified and they forget everything. It's like, you know, we get on stage and <laughs> I can't remember anything. And it's like, I know what you're capable of. I right. know the gifts you have. So, you know, trust me. I have to confess that the being confident on stage, even as a youngster, that is, I've had to grow into that, you yeah. know, that the butterflies, the nerves, the anxiety. Mm -hmm. What I learn and what we learn as we get more comfortable is that you take that energy and you transform it. Hmm. Um, you breathe. You know, right. They say that all the time. Just take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. <laughs> but it's also it's that idea that when we feel the heart flutter, when we feel the knot in the stomach, we're the ones who put the judgment on it. Right. We're the ones who go, that physical response is fear. But you go, well, what if we shifted that idea and we said, that physical response is excitement. It's inspiration. It's that feeling you get just before you jump off the cliff. <sighs> and, and let that be something that propels you mm -hmm. rather than something that stops you. Right. The other big thing is what's the story, hmm. you know? It's a, it's a critical thing of how we connect with our audience and our personal story is, is one of the key ways that we go, you are just like I am, I am just like you are. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as we were talking about being stuck in the office and how important this creative piece is, right. there are people out there going, yes, I get it, I understand. Yeah. Um, and when, when you create that connection, then it's, they're with you. And they go, well, how did you solve that problem? And can you help me solve it? The other thing is we, we get kind of forgetful, you know, in this world of television and mm -hmm. the web. We all think that we live here. But you get out on stage, mm. and it's the whole package. Right. <laughs> you know, it's your voice, it's your body, it's obviously what you say. And in fact, they say that, you know, the content of what you're talking about is actually a very small portion yeah. of the impression that you make on people. Right. If you are even remotely considering stepping out onto the boards, um, <laughs> 
that you get some support. Um, there's this great saying that you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. Hmm. So you can't see what you're doing. You, um, you really need someone to be, to be watching you and guiding you and supporting you and asking you questions and going, you know, is there more? Is there deeper you can go? Um, and then ultimately to help you find that balance between offering the content and if we are a business, then that call to action. Mm -hmm. I mean, every time we get up and speak, it is with a purpose. So right. that balance between I offer you my gifts and at the end of the day, this is what I need from you. I need to inspire you to action. Mm -hmm.